Richmond Community Foundation celebrates 20 years of success in providing funds for the citizens of Richmond. Community Foundation has the community in mind. Uh, it has the infrastructure, it has the permanency and the stability. I think that is why giving to Foundation, Community Foundation, is very uh, desirable. With the foresight and vision of our original Foundation founders, and with the great support from the City of Richmond, the new fledgling Richmond Foundation was formed. Many of us remember the excitement and growth taking place in our city in the 90s. While this was happening, another new and exciting thing was taking place. The birth of the Richmond Foundation. From its earliest days, the founding directors began to establish the paths for the future of the Foundation. The first board chair was Ralph May, who was responsible for getting things up and running. Well, it started with the, uh, the uh, Richmond, uh, what did they call it, some kind of a community conference. And uh, it was uh, organized, uh, Rick Henderson was one of the organizers of that, and, and uh, he buttonholed me to say, we're having this community conference, it's on a Saturday morning, and I want you to do the session on a community foundation. So I thought, oh, okay, I'll do that. And uh, the session went quite well, and then afterwards he said, well, it's time to get going with the community foundation, what are you going to do about it? And uh, it certainly wasn't me alone by any means. Uh, you know, Rick was very helpful, and Lorraine Palmer did a lot of the early work on that, as well as the other members of the board. But Rick and Lorraine did most of the work on the Constitution and those kinds of things, and probably made me look good. The city provided staff for the first few years, and uh, to, and the city was it was a, a city idea too to to get it going. I got to give them credit for that. And uh, it was uh, Rod Drennan and Lion Lakin that worked with us uh, for the first while and uh, uh, helped us with the structural things, although I don't know that the structure was the most difficult part. It was getting a presence in the community that was the difficult part. And so they helped us through, uh, through the city things and uh, getting other people involved. And uh, through them, that's where we ended up with people like uh, uh, Jack Bell and Joe Cohen getting involved. In addition to the support of the original board of directors, the foundation received excellent early support from the city of Richmond. Richmond Community Foundation has an excellent history of supporting, at last count, close to 100 groups and organizations in our community of Richmond. And it goes back to the early days of the foundation. As you can see from this old clip from the original Foundation video produced by Shaw in 1992, where the Foundation gave grants to the Gateway Theatre, Richmond Art Gallery, and Gilmore Park Outreach Program. Over the years, the Foundation has been very actively involved in many events and has built strong relationships with many of our worthwhile groups and organizations. Whether it is working with Volunteer Richmond, Touchstone Family Services, Dr. Bud Sipko Fund, Rosewood Manor, and Terranova Park, North Fraser Port, Steveston Community Center, the Rick Hansen Foundation, Ethel Tibbetts Scholarship, Family Place, Rotary Easter Lunch with our seniors, or the popular city event Winterfest. The Richmond Community Foundation now has grown to over 34 endowments and scholarship funds. We salute and thank the many supporters who have established permanent endowments and scholarships with the Foundation. The Foundation is proud of the fact that we account for approximately 20% or more of all scholarships now given out to Richmond students in our school district. Almost 20 years ago, the Foundation held its first ever annual golf tournament at the Richmond Golf Club. It raised $13,500 and was at that time a huge success. Since that time, we have continued to hold our annual tournaments. And please mark down the date of Friday, June 10th, 2011, for our next tournament taking place at Quilchina Golf Club. It all started 20 years ago with a vision and determination from our founding circle of volunteers. Well, I think that uh, taking the opportunity, if we can, when we have this anniversary, to acknowledge who those people were and uh, and invite them to 
provide assistance in the future, not the work that they did in the first place, but some assistance in the future to make sure that our message continues to get out. Since that time, the tradition of community involvement has continued by all of the past board of directors up to and including this in our 20th year. We're proud to say we have increased our endowment fund base to over $3 million. And we continue to strive to manage and prudently invest our funds to attain the best possible returns for our fund holders. Whether it is the Rosewood Manor, annual garden parties, and participation with the Christmas Fund events for Volunteer Richmond, support for the Richmond Music School, Richmond Orchestra and Chorus, the Richmond Women's Resource Center, Richmond Library, and the hundreds of very important scholarships that we present each year. The Richmond Community Foundation is carrying on the tremendous legacy left for us by our Founders Circle. Well, the way I've always tried to explain it, whether or not it's trying to raise money from that person, particularly at that time, is that it is the opportunity for an individual or a group of individuals to make a permanent impact on the community and to set aside some funds that can be used to enhance the community and to make and to enhance the community in ways that that individual wants to see that the community continues to do or starts to do if they don't do now. I recommend without hesitation a community foundation to anyone having such noble thought. Thank you. There is no doubt that the Richmond Community Foundation has and continues to make a very large impact on the quality of life for all of us living in Richmond. And for that, we would like to say a big thank you to all who have had a hand in making Richmond a better place to live, work, and play.